Distributors of food and other perishables commonly need to haul many products at once, some frozen, some fresh, and some dry. To fill that need, Thermo King Smart Reefer multi-temp units are specially designed to maintain multiple temperature zones in a single trailer. First, this video will examine the capabilities of the different types of Smart Reefer multi-temp systems. Then the recommended operating, pre-cooling, loading, and delivery procedures will be presented. We'll finish with some notes on remote control panels and single temperature operation. Units may start automatically anytime the Zone 1 host switch is turned on. Always turn the Zone 1 host switch off before opening the unit doors. Read the operator's manual, including the section on safety precautions before operating the unit. And be sure to observe all safety decals. There are several Smart Reefer multi-temp units available to meet specific customer requirements. These units are divided into two groups, the TCs and the TCIs and DEs. The TCs must carry the coldest products in Zone 1, which is served by the host unit, and warmer products in the rear zone or zones. The TCIs and DEs can carry any temperature product in any zone. With all units except DEs, the front zone is served by the host unit, and the remote zone or zones are served by one or more remote evaporators. If a zone is large, it may require two remote evaporators. If dry goods are to be carried, they should be placed in another zone and separated with bulkheads but this zone need not be equipped with a remote evaporator. With DE units, the host unit is equipped with two separate evaporator coils and is used with a bulkhead that runs the length of the trailer. A third zone served by a remote evaporator may also be added. Insulated bulkheads are used to separate the zones. Damaged or improperly installed bulkheads may prevent the zones from maintaining satisfactory temperatures. Or, products near the bulkheads may be damaged. Some trailers feature side doors as well as rear doors to allow easier access to all zones. The unit can be identified by checking the serial number plate on the unit frame. For example, this is an SB330TC3. We'll use an SB330TC3 for our demonstration. The controls on other Micro P4 multi-temp smart reefers are identical in appearance and operation. The front of the Micro P4 multi-temp microprocessor consists of the display and the keypad. A switch panel with an on-off switch for each zone is located below the microprocessor. The Zone 1 host switch turns Zone 1 and the host unit on and off. It must be turned on in order to operate any of the other zones. When this switch is off, the display will be blank or will show off and the backlight will be off. The next switch turns Zone 2 on and off. If the unit has three separate zones, the Zone 3 switch is used to turn Zone 3 on and off. If the unit does not have three zones, this switch is not present. In the continuous mode, the unit will start automatically in about 10 seconds when the Zone 1 host switch is turned on. The unit will also start automatically if the unit is in cycle sentry mode and conditions require the engine to run. If the keypad keys are being pressed, the engine start will be delayed until about 10 seconds after the last key is pressed. Also, when the Zone 1 host switch is turned on, the standard display will appear. This display consists of the box temperature and set point for Zone 1. After 10 seconds, Zone 2 will be displayed. The display will show the box temperature and off in Zone 2. 
if Zone 2 is turned off, or the Zone 2 box temperature and set point if the zone is turned on. If the unit has three zones, Zone 3 will appear next, also for 10 seconds. The display will continue to cycle, showing all zones for 10 seconds each. The sides of the display show the system operating conditions or modes. Symbols or icons will appear on the display whenever an operating condition or mode is active. The cool icon will light when the zone being shown is cooling. The heat icon indicates that the zone is heating. When the defrost icon lights up, the zone is in defrost. The high speed icon means the unit's diesel engine will run in high speed unless other unit requirements prevent it from doing so. When the unit is in cycle sentry mode, this icon will light up. The alarm icon will be on or flashing whenever the microprocessor has detected an abnormal condition. As shown earlier, the zone icons indicate which zone is currently shown on the display. The keypad is used to operate the unit. This group of keys display unit information. When a key is pressed, the information will remain on the display screen for about 10 seconds. The screen will then return to the cycling standard display of box temperature and set point for each zone. Pressing the hours key once will display the total hours hour meter. This shows the total amount of time that the zone one host switch has been turned on. Pressing the key again displays engine hours, the number of hours that the diesel engine has run. The total hours zone two hour meter shows the hours that zone two has been turned on. And the total hours zone three shows the zone three hours. If the unit is configured for only two zones, this hour meter will not appear. Finally, the user programmable hour meter is shown. To check the engine oil pressure, press the oil press key. The water temp key is used to display the unit's engine coolant temperature. Pressing the amps key will display the amount of current flowing to or from the unit battery. A minus sign indicates a discharge condition. 